Hi, TCC family. It's Julie from The Weight Room and from Group Exercise. Hope you're all doing well. We're continuing our foam rolling lessons here. We've done the back, and now we're going to go to the chest or the pectoralis. Okay, these are big muscles too, but for obvious reasons, they're a little bit more challenging to roll. Um, we're going to focus on the lateral part of the movement, and all these movements are kept slow and small. Again, we want to work about an inch per second, so it is a very small motion. This is my son, Ryan. He needs a quarantine haircut. Sorry, you can't see a smiling face. But anyway, the first one, we're going to start with the foam roller running right down the side of your body, okay? You're going to put that pressure kind of right up on the chest and the shoulder area, trying to shift some weight on there. Now, your left hand is back in that push-up position. That's going to be the hand that's going to enable you to move side to side on this movement and dig into that muscle a little bit. So go ahead and move side to side just a little bit, Ryan. Nice and slow. And go back and forth five or six times. Do you feel that? Yeah? Okay. Nice and slow. Good. All right. Let's go ahead and switch sides and let's do it on the other side. So again, the foam roller is running parallel to your body, okay? The other hand is back in push-up position, putting that weight by the shoulder and the pectoralis muscle, and just going side to side, nice and slow. We've gotta do both sides. Do I, does that shoulder feel it a little bit more? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. take the foam roller back to the right side and we're going to change the angle here to about a 45 degree angle okay we're going to rest that shoulder and chest on the foam roller again the left hand here is going to be again put in that push-up position this is our movement arm okay so now we're going to be kind of coming horizontally here to get onto that chest muscle a little bit more go ahead Ron. How does that feel? Great. <laughs> Excellent. So really make a point of trying to keep this arm relaxed, okay? If you're tensing that up, this is gonna stay tight too, so we wanna make sure that it stays loose. Rolling back and forth. Excellent. All right, so now relax a little bit. Here's our next step on this. You're gonna reach out right to the front like you're looking to shake someone's hand. So turn your hand, lift that hand up off a couple inches off the floor. And now rotate it so it's palms down and pull in. Good. Now we're going to go back out again. Turn, shake the hand, <clears throat> turn, and come back in. You should feel that digging into the muscles a little bit more. Do you feel that? Yeah. Okay, good. So we're going to do that four or five times. Nice and slow here. Good. Shake hands, palms down, back in. One more time. And back in. Good. Let's go ahead and switch sides. We're going to do the left side too. So looking for that 45 degree angle here. So you may not be able to see it, but his hips are resting on the floor. We don't want all of that pressure on the shoulder joint or on the chest. So we're just going to keep the hips on the floor, keep what weight is available on the upper body. So again, moving that body, using the right hand here to go side to side. Doing great. Do you feel that? Yeah. Is that a little more sore than the other side? Or which one hurts? This one hurts more. Yeah, okay. You're a lefty. All right, one more time back and forth. Perfect. All right, so now let's go ahead and reach out and turn into the handshake position. Palms down, pull that elbow back. So you want that hand moving nice and slowly. Okay, a little bit slower, please, right? Great, thank you. Reach out into that handshake position, come back in, palms down. We're gonna do that five, six times. You really do feel that when you, even when you rotate through the joint, it gets into the muscle, everything works together. Good, and one more time. 
Excellent. All right, go ahead and take a break. That's how to loosen up your chest on the foam roller. You can also use a um, hard ball, like a lacrosse ball or a softball. Those will dig in a little bit more, but a lot of the movements are the same. Thanks, Ryan, for helping out. We'll get you that haircut pretty soon. Hope to see you soon, TCC. Thanks, bye.